Ralph Macchio, bless his heart, walked up to me in the hallway. And I was either leaving the day and I was ready to go get drunk. He says, I, I want you to take a look at something. You ever consider working on Daredevil? Wow. You know, it's amazing the, the amount of characters that you worked on and made in successful books and sold a lot of books for um, Iron Man, Spider-Man, X-Men. When did you feel you really started to be your own guy and to start doing the art the way you really wanted to do it? Probably when I was doing, Dare, when I began to do Daredevil. Because to that point, I honestly did not feel- Were they feel in the Yeah, in the uh, Ralph Macchio was the editor, and I'll tell you what he said to me th that started this. I had just gotten off X-Men uh, at that point, and I was disillusioned because I was put on the new universe, Star Brand, and I was told this is gonna be Marvel's version of Superman and it did not do well, and I didn't, wasn't happy. And I could not get back on the X-Men. And I was ready to walk, go, go get out of the business. There was a lot of things said and a lot of things done that it had accumulated my anger at the business. Not a failure per se, as much as I was kind of angry at personalities, because I still loved the business. And Ralph Macchio, bless his heart, walked up to me in the hallway, and I was either leaving the day and I was ready to go get drunk. He says, I, I want you to take a look at something. You ever considered working on Daredevil? I said, no, I never considered it. Even my father had done Daredevil. Uh, he said, well, we got a project coming up and this Andesenti, who was one of the editors, would, is gonna be writing it. Would you consider it? You can do full pencils and you can help out with plots. I said, wow, I think I'd like to look at that. Then he says, and we'll get any anchor you want on it. I said, give me Al Williamson. I was joking. Al Williamson. Wow. He says, I'm going to call Al. 24 hours later, Al Williamson said, yeah, I'll work with John Romita Jr. Oh, shit. Al Williamson? And uh, I ran with it. And as I was drawing full pencils and I was loving every minute of the storytelling, I suddenly was reinvigorated. I was invigorated. Reinvigorated is kind of redundant. I was dundant. I was <laughs> excited. It was, I was suddenly... You were excited. I was excited. And uh, it went on from there. That was the turning point, was doing Daredevil. And then working with Frank, when I called Frank and I got my gumption up and said, Frank, I want to do a, gra a graphic novel with you. How about Wolverine? He says, everybody's doing Wolverine. I have an idea. And he sent me this, this treatment of a declined uh, film or a declined TV series of Daredevil. It was basically Daredevil year one. And he sent it to me and uh, it was 64 pages. I started working on it. Finished it, and he says, he called me and he says, I have an addendum. I have an idea to finish in between page 17 and 18. And it was, ended up being 84 more pages. And that's how we got Daredevil, The Man Without Fear. The Man Without Fear, 144 pages. I think on mass, probably the best thing I've ever done because of the story overall and the storytelling. And then they did the series based on that, uh, that graphic novel. Very proud of that. It has a lot to do with Frank. How proud are you to see a lot of the work you do with Daredevil and Punisher as well, because that's another character that you're closely identified with from your time in Marvel, adapted to television so well as the Marvel Netflix shows have done. I'm very proud. Of course, there's a lot of other people that should be as proud, if not proud. But you're one, of the, you're one sure. of the cooks in that kitchen. I, I accept. I accept. As soon as I got paid for some credit on, on Daredevil and, and so on, I said, okay, obviously I've got a little bit to do with this. But the guy that did the Daredevil series specifically paid me a compliment, and I really felt a part of it. And he says, this is due to that graphic novel. And I was a part of that. Uh, Frank, of course, but the visuals were there. And that's something that doesn't happen very often. And I was very happy. Because Spider-Man, the movie, 40, 50 years of Spider-Man, you don't take it from mine, take it from my father's and Steve Ditko's. But with the Daredevil, it was specific to that graphic novel. I was very happy with that and very proud of it. Same thing with Kick-Ass. I was co-creator with Kick-Ass and see that and see those images taken from the first couple of issues. Matthew Vaughn is, is an internationally renowned, brilliant director and he literally took Oh yeah, some of those panels, Seems, some yeah. of those sequences in the movie, they're lifted right the from the The characters, panel. everything. I'm very proud of that. It's, it's a great feeling to see that, that uh, it's a sincerest form of flattery to have that imitated.